What would it feel like for an English man to lift the World Cup? Listen, it'll be fantastic for me personally. Obviously, you just in an interview there and the amount of names that she reeled off and she said, um, you know, obviously Manuel Neuer, Sergio Ramos, these these type of players that I'll be, you know, in that bracket that I've lifted the trophy as, you know, uh, Manchester City captain. But for me, it's about the club. You know, it's about the club putting the club where the club wants to be. This is the first time that the club's been in this, in this competition. And, you know, for the fans that have travel from main road to you know the Etihad and come through the the stages and the process of this club being where it's going to be um you know it's mainly for them yeah the first question about obviously uh, you said that the defense is not as strong as what it is last year but the defense hasn't changed i feel that the players are still putting in the work and we know as a defenders and you know me first and foremost that we've conceded probably too many goals but we score as a team and we, we defend as a team. So that's not just the defence taking the burden, that's the whole team. Um, and as for, you know, more teams being in the competition, you know, that's not probably for me to say. Um, for us, it's the first time in this experience. So we're just, ex you know, really enjoying the experience and going away with that. Now, whatever will be in the future, so be it. But um, listen, I think it's a great competition, obviously, to win the Champions League and win the other cups in your respective countries have to be uh, involved but for us we're just you know delighted to be here and hopefully we can you know win the game tomorrow best moment of my career I don't know because I've experienced um, a lot of highs especially with this club um, I think it'll be the icing on the cake and it'll really top off the great season that we had last season uh, to obviously do the treble to finally win the Champions League it was a you know big big step for us as players and as a group of lads that have spent a lot of years together in the right direction. Now this is, you know, the icing on the cake and the reward of winning the Champions League. So for us to top that off and win the four competitions that we, we really wanted to is fantastic. Um, so I think it'd be definitely on par, I'd say, with, you know, one of the greatest achievements. Let's focus on the positives. We're here now and we're in a, a great competition now. Like you just said there, maybe we've not started off as strongly as what we have done in recent years, but other teams around us in the Premier League have also dropped points when they should have won or you know gone for draws. So I feel that the Premier League is going to be a little bit more open this year. That's my personal feeling. But I do feel that winning this competition, you know, finally getting our hands on the trophy that we've wanted after winning the Champions League, putting it to bed and then moving on now and concentrating on, you know, that I think a really busy schedule in, in December for the Premier League and the, the English competitions. And then we move on to, you know, the knockout stage of the Champions League and hopefully go and retain, you know, the, the championship that we won last season. I think that the business that we're in, we're in, we're in this game to win football and win championships. And especially being at a club like Manchester City, that's, you know, that's what the owners are, have invested so much. That's why we've got the manager that we've got. That's why we've got the players that we've got is to win, is to win tournaments and to make sure that come the end of the, the game or the 90 minutes that, you know, we're, we're coming out with the victory and, you know, celebrating because I probably sure you don't get bored of that celebrating feeling when the confetti is coming down. But we need to make sure that, you know, we're, we're playing our game. We're listening to the manager, we're listening to his tactics and, um, Hopefully we will be all right. No, obviously, um, I think the Saudi league's done what it's needed to do to get the players over here and you know make sure that they're fighting for the, the you know the competition. Um, obviously, Riyad has come over and it's a I've said it from day one. He's a massive loss to Manchester City because of the standard of player that he was, the goals and the assists that he did. But Riyad made the decision and Manchester City thought that was the right decision both for him personally and the club as a foundation so listen what will be with other players coming out here that's not for for me to discuss that's down to them and their clubs but you know from Manchester City you can see that the lads have signed contracts um, and contract extensions and they hope to be here for the foreseeable now whatever will be in the future it is what it is football is crazy so it's not for me to predict the future one bit but um, you know for the lads here we're all happy we're all, you know, willing to fight for this club and to make sure that we're, we're winning trophies, you know, year in, year out, hopefully.